Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. It's me, Jerry D'Amigo, back with another Fear the Beard special. And, you know, today we're just going to go through a bunch of guys with good and bad beards. And, uh, you know, not many can compare with this thing right here, but uh, we'll see what they have to say. Well, we're now here with uh, Trevor Smith, team captain, and uh, one of the finer men with uh, a great beard, uh, as we can see here. Uh, here with uh, special guest Kenny Ryan. Uh, another man with a, a great beard on the team. Next guest on the show, we got uh, Stuart Percy. We're joined here now by uh, the sweaty Brad Ross. Uh, Brad, how you doing today? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm great. Um, Kenny, how long have you been growing this thing? Uh, I'd probably say about six weeks, maybe? Six weeks, yeah. Something like that. I mean, that. that's the estimated time of a great beard. Tell me uh, the trick here of growing a, a great beard like you have there. It's about grooming. You know, eating the right things, make sure you're putting the right fluids in your body yeah. to make it grow the right way. You know, what have you done to improve your beard grooming? Um, I think I, uh, you know, I always try to keep it clean. I always make it sure it's washed so that I make sure it looks a bit longer when it's clean. And, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, I think I just had a dirty stash, and now I'm getting a bit of whiskers on my chin, and uh, so I think that's my improvement so far. It looks good. Obviously, I'd be scared if I were an opponent of yours. And, you know, I remember the, the long hair when I had my beard uh, two years ago. Uh, how does that blend in well with the beard and everything? Does it go well? Do you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, hey, I look pretty dang good, you know? I do that every morning, yes, and uh, I feel like I'm kind of like a caveman, yeah. so I... I like to. <laughs> I like. We like to have fun around here. The Crocs here. The Croc Rock. This is three days, Jerry. Right three here. Three days. Three days growth. Seriously. What do you got on there? Uh, I got about. Seriously. Sure <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Just check it. <laughs> We're here with Bob McGill. Uh, you know, you're always commentating on the games. Uh, yeah. You know, but you don't really comment on beards. What do you What do you think about the beards on the team uh, for the Marlies? You know what? There's some pretty good beards. Obviously, yours is you know right there. But you did start in September, so it's been a long <laughs> season. But uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, there's a couple guys that got the summer beards. You know, yeah. summer here, summer there. A couple guys got the the baseball team nine aside. Yeah. Uh, but yours is uh, outstanding. You get the Grizzly Adams Award without a doubt. Best beard is probably. I got to say yours. Thank you. Has a good one. Well, I'm not going to say yourself, but because uh, you obviously have a great beard, but you. Um, you know, I think what sticks out is uh, you know Trevor Smith. He's a pretty hairy guy, so he's got a beard coming in. And uh, who do you think has the worst beard on the team? Who? Worst beard. There's a couple bad yeah, ones just, on just there. You got to name them all. Well, uh, one of my liney is an old grizzled vet, Jared Smithson. I don't even know if he has sideburns. Not a lot of facial hair on the guy. Got a baby face. I heard yeah. he shaves his face with no shaving cream whatsoever. It's doesn't, crazy. Doesn't need it. I think he's had one razor all year. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And the worst beard on the team, I'd have to say probably Smithson. <laughs> We've gotten him a couple times. I'm going to say Cozy, our, our right winger. I got a little peach fuzz, but uh, peach you know, fuzz. it doesn't count. But. A little patchy. Um, I think it's an inspiration. It is. Uh, people, people look at us and they're like, wow, that's a good beard, right? Yeah, like that's a man's beard. Yeah. You know, I, get, I always get to, can I touch it? And I go, nah, just for, just for a hey. second. And, you know, they like it. So uh, that's good. Obviously, it boosts your, uh, you know, your morale, you know, your yeah. self-esteem. You're getting her going and uh, just doing some curls for the girls, if you want, like Fraze, who also has a, a great beard. Uh, as you can see, not, not many people can grow beards like these two right here. Thank okay. you for joining us. And uh, it's been great to meet your beard and yourself. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us here on the Fear of the Beard special. Uh, I've had a blast with some of the players and uh, some of the commentators like Bob McGill. Uh, it's been a fun time. Uh, we love your support that you've been giving us uh, with the sign, the Fear the Beard signs. Keep them coming. Uh, and then you could come see this in person and uh, maybe I'll give you a couple of winks. I always do.